What's going on YouTube? I wanted to show you guys my uh, 6-4. I had it for a while, I just never really did a video of it. I think I had this car going on probably like 12, 13 years now. 64 Chevrolet Bel Air on the 22s. The Bellagio's. I'm thinking about doing over the um, interior in it. Maybe putting some different wheels on it. But uh, I got two other projects going on, so I don't know when I'm gonna mess with that, trying to, you know, do the interior or put some new wheels on it. But I think I might do that eventually. I was thinking about doing the interior all red you guys let me know what you think on that one. I was thinking about doing the whole inside red. Not sure if I'm going to do it or not, though. It's a little thought I've been having. Most people always get this car confused with the Impala. But this is actually a Bel Air. You see right here. They did make Bel Airs in 64. See, that's another clear way to tell it's a Bel Air. It has uh, four tail lights instead of six. They come on the Impala. This car has actually been painted going on. Well, it's been painted ever since I had it. So I believe it's like 12, 13 years it's had this paint job on it. But it just uh, stays in a garage at all times. So the paint job held up really well. I believe these cars came with a 283 or something like that. Yeah, I believe it's a 283, but it does uh, have a 350 in it now. Those are uh, the 350 emblems.
Yeah, I've been uh, thinking about doing the interior over. I'm just not sure. Thinking about doing more of an OG look. So the seats will look original, like the ones that came in here. Or something that's uh, similar to this, but all red. Let you guys comment, let me know what you think. I should do all red interior or not, or keep it black and red and just get it done over. So it needs to be refreshed. Oh yeah, let me, let me crank it up so you guys can see the dash. It has a uh, Dakota Digital in it. And they actually make the VHX dashes for the 6.4 now. I've been kind of debating on doing one of those. 